Ah, maybe here. I have three characters here that I can select using this uh, by clicking each one of those images. If you pay attention to this game manager script here, the selected character value is changed whenever I click one of those buttons. But I cannot uh, play the game play the game yet because there is something I need to edit the script inside this multiplayer scene multiplayer game scene inside this prototype runner there is a script called player spawner I need to edit this script because it is directly spawn the character 2 for the game so to be able to choose characters based on our uh, chosen character on the on main menu we need to edit the script so it should choose the character that we had chosen before and I will edit it this way public game, in game object player prefab I need to edit the value of player prefab here <coughs> here player prefab should be game manager that instance that what was it I forgot uh, my own script game manager here selected character game manager dot instance dot selected character okay so now I can test the game I will hang on a second okay I will run the game Oh, I'm sorry. I should start the scene. Start this one instead. Okay, start the game. I will type Y character and I choose this character. Then let's play. Okay can see this object is instantiated character 3 now I'm using character 3 what if I choose character 1 let's stop and play the game again I choose this one Skeleton. Yes, the skeleton is, is instantiated. Now, the remaining question is Can we test it as a second player? Why not? Let's export it as Windows executable and we will test it alright the build is about to complete it about to complete ok I will run the game on my unity editor Size the window this way. This one I will choose white guy. Let's play. And for this one, let me move. 
here okay okay and this one I will choose the bear bear guy let's play Oops. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so it is not working. Da, da, da. Yeah, I forgot something. I forgot something. Yep. Here on the player spawner script. This one I forgot to I forgot to <coughs> Hang on. What was it? Uh, let me go to my previous script. <coughs> oh yeah this 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 if statement I need to copy it and then paste it here I need to set it to change it to true and place it inside it. Okay, let me try to build it again. <coughs> That's build. There is an error. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, I, n I think I, I need to change to add this network behavior here oh oh hang on hang on I'm getting a little bit confused uh, The problem is with this line. Okay, I think I just need to add else statement here. Else, if player is local player, that it will spawn the player prefab, the default player prefab. But if it's not the local player, it should it should spawn the game manager that. Uh, instance that selected character okay let's uh, let's build it again
right no error build test build okay let's start the editor sin start this one too I will use the white character let's play it's not the white character yeah the green one I think it is it should be otherwise the otherwise it should be here and this one should be here now let me close these windows up I need to rebuild it Okay, the build is done and I'm going to start this one. White character. Let's play. Okay, white character is found. Let me move this way. Here I will choose the other guy. Let's play. Okay, that's it. Oh, but my camera is flying. Oh. there is another problem and let me check what is happening here in the scene in this scene oh I'm sp there are three character to spawn at same time this one this one which is flying away and also this one why I don't know I I will find out why and oh my god yeah we got this problem and I will get back to you on my next like, videos guys and I will find out why is this thing happening Thank you. See you next time.